This episode of Texilla is sponsored by AMD. JJ Lynn writes in, Texilla, I've been given a task to create a family tree for my family. My family is huge. I have too many aunts and uncles to count with all my fingers and toes. Is there software, preferably free of charge, to do this? JJ Lynn. Oh, yes. There is tons of software. Um, long gone are the days when we had to draw those giant posters. I like the giant the poster. <laughs> Did you do that? I have done the giant yeah. poster. It was kind of fun. Uh, but now there are tons of sites <laughs> and software that can help us keep track of our families and even let you collaborate with other members of your family to make sure you get the most mm -hmm. complete family tree possible. Personally, I use the free Jenny.com plan. Uh, it's great if you just want to build a family tree because it lets you add unlimited family members. It's over here, the basic plan. Um, you can do a little bit more with the pro and plus plan, but then you have to pay money for that, and you don't want to do that. Um, it also gives you one gigabyte of space for, for media, like, like videos and photos of your family, uh, documents, for example. Um, so that's that's pretty nice, actually. I can't really imagine needing more, for, more than that personally. So this is what a Jenny tree looks like. Um, it starts here at the bottom with me and then my parents, and then you can scroll through, for example, my dad's entire extended family. Um, so it's pretty extensive. My mom and aunt and I have been working on the whole tree for, for many years now. Um, so it's it's gotten pretty big, and that's what I like. The collaboration really helps it go a lot faster. I'm lazy, so I haven't added any photos except my own. Uh, but you can see the tree and dig even deeper into relationships. You can change them if, if someone passes away, for example. You can add people, add babies. Um, it's very very drag and drop. It's very easy to build the whole tree that way. And you can add people by just putting their email address in with their name on the tree and then they get a notification that they've been added. And they're like, surprise! Um, Ancestry.com is another great choice and like the paid Jenny plans, it gives you access to ancestor finding tools. My friend Chris Williams, who actually blogs for Ancestry.com, also recommends software uh, like Reunion for Mac. I downloaded it and you can see the, the bases here are the Kennedys. Um, so you can click through the different family members of the Kennedys. Um, you can see the tree view for example as well. So if you want something that's offline that you can use uh, on the go, then something like that would be great. Uh, there's also um, Mac Family Tree. This one looks really nice too. It's, uh, it's, it's not free, but it gives you a lot of the same kind of options. And um, Family Tree Maker, which is actually built by Ancestry.com, uh, works for Mac and PC as well. And then there's even an open source piece of software. I'm sure there's many out there, but this one is called Gramps. And uh, it works for Mac, PC, and Linux. And it's, of course, open source and free, uh, so that makes it really easy for anyone to use. Um, so there's, there's basically, there are so many options out there. Yeah. You kind of have to just find the one that works best for you. Um, I like Jenny. A lot of people use Ancestry.com. It just kind of depends on, on whether you want something that's completely free that you can use for a long time, like I have with the free plan at Jenny.com, or if you want to pay a little extra, get some Ancestry finding tools um, and other features like that. I was amazed, actually. It's somebody you started doing this back in the day when you had to drive to small county courthouses. In, in some cases, you still do to, to get things like you know birth and death records. And, and uh, it's amazing how much information is actually online now, all the censuses that were not available online, except for, of course, like the 1890 census, most of which was lost in a mm -hmm. fire, but it's incredible. Uh, I was actually finally, for the first time, able to track down a uh, mayor, or excuse me, a census that basically proves that m which of my ancestors was the first one to come over from oh, Ireland. Oh, neat. And, you know, and, and physically, Ancestry.com, actually, I could look at an actual scan of the page and, and try to interpret the, you know, the 100-year-old hand, 150-year-old handwriting. Mm -hmm. It was, it's amazing how much information is available, and the tools they have now make it so much easier. Yeah, and to give a little sponsor love, 23andMe, uh, the relative finder tool, I've actually used it. Funny story, um, I got a connection with a relative that said, this person may be your third cousin. Oh, funny. And so I sent them a message. I'm like, hey, here's the names that are in my family tree. Do we have any overlaps, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, yeah, Veronica, yeah, I've met you like three times. <laughs> He's like, how's your mom doing? How's Barbara? And I was like, oh. Awkward. Oh, th is that you? So I guess 23andMe was right. Look at that. It works. It worked. That was embarrassing. But yeah, there's a lot of great tools out there. Science can be embarrassing sometimes. Science can be a little embarrassing. All right. We want to take a moment to thank AMD and the Tomash Processor for sponsoring this episode of TechZilla. Joining us, the Techno Buffalo himself, Mr. John Rettinger. I am holding here in my very hands a Tomash powered laptop, the AMD Quad Core A6 1450. I believe you have an actual tablet in your hand, sir. I do. I am rocking one of the A-series prototype tablets. Are you feeling the power 
power of the APU here, sir? I am admiring the power of the APU. The crazy thing about this is it's the size of your pinky nail. Some of you don't have like giant Flojo nails. It is incredibly powerful and really tiny and it sips battery life like you wouldn't believe. I've, uh, it's interesting. What's the longest battery life you've seen out of the tablet so far? Uh, close to nine hours with brightness all the way down. Really? It means incredible. Imagine if you're a student and you just want to sit there and take notes or you're at an event and you're live blogging. You've got your brightness down, internet browser open. You could really go for, you know, a full uh, Google I.O. session without ever having to uh, plug it in. Similar battery performance um, out of this Acer Aspire V5. And I got to say, I'm really loving the latest generation of laptops and how thin and light they are. Are you uh, are you been doing any trying any gaming on it? Yeah, so one of the cool things about the A-Series processor is that as soon as you plug it into a wall, you get actually, in addition to getting, you know, power charging it, you're also going to get extra performance. So, you know, we did what most gamers do. We fired up Steam and just see how it would handle. Uh, we tried some of the latest Steam games, but at the office here, we mostly play a lot of Left 4 Dead. It's a little bit of an older game, but we busted that thing up to almost max settings, and it handled it like a rock star. So any game you could download, this thing will be able to handle pretty well, actually. And... You unplug it, take it off to class wherever you want to go, and you're going to get some pretty killer battery life. We didn't have any trouble playing Blu-ray videos. Our experiment trying to run Bioshock Infinite at maximum settings, of course, fail. Of course, it'll kill off my gaming computer at home, so I don't even want to admit that publicly. So let's just go back to John, Techno Buffalo. What's coming up? What are you guys excited about? So there's all kinds of awesomeness coming up. This is the best time of year to be a geek coming into the holidays. Every manufacturer is bringing out their new hotness. We got Apple's iPhone 5S rumored for an October debut. We got Motorola and Google finally making the love baby with the Motorola X phone, which is going to be a build to order kind of phone. Uh, so the latest from Google and the latest from Apple are coming really soon. Ladies and gentlemen, the Techno Buffalo himself, find him on YouTube. I'm Patrick Norton, and we got to cut back to Techzilla.